Hey guys, this is Wayne Hatter and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a feature in Micro Niche Finder called LSI, Latent Semantic Indexing. And basically what that is, your website or your web page should talk about your main topic pretty much in a variety of ways so without talking too much just let me show you exactly what I mean alright so I've done a search for this keyword German Shepherd okay and I've done a filter here now from German Shepherd it gives me all of these uh, related keywords now what I want to do, I want to choose one of these keywords that I think is pretty good and this one looks, I mean there's a lot of people looking for German Shepherd puppies so we're just gonna left click there and then for new searches we're gonna go to LSI search okay so here is our results from doing an LSI search for the term German Shepherd Puppies okay now if we're writing if our site or our page is about German Shepherds let's say you have a sales page and you're selling an ebook on German Shepherds okay now what you would do if I want to center my content around German Shepherds and German Shepherd puppies this is the process that I would go through so from this point I would I'm not gonna do too much filter and I'm just gonna show my high-ranking keywords for the searches and then I'm just gonna scroll over here on the left side and let's see puppies for sale that looks like a good one if you're selling puppies let's see let's keep scrolling down pictures of dogs yeah that looks like a good one let's see pugs animal shelter dog pound Maltese types of dogs that's a good one too let's see we'll choose about how many do we have so far one two three so let's choose about four more let's see here so we're scrolling down on this side and we're looking for some good keywords let's see free puppies great day Labrador poodles animal rescue let's see here puppy finder uh, well that would be good um, well no let's not choose that one let's see Barsker Re Boxer Rescue Doberman Dog Adoption Dogs for Adoption Free Dogs German Shepherds Golden Retrievers Guide Dogs Bulldog Rescue Cockapoo Puppies there's like 805 so let's just kind of scroll through this let's as a matter of fact let's just do a filter because that's just too many to try to so now we have 391 that we have to shift through uh, let's see oh I think I got rid of the ones that I checked let's see if we can find those again dogs for sale pictures of dogs dog training adopt a pet you could give information on how to adopt a dog let's keep scrolling down here free puppies German Shepherd rescue let's see pit bulls for sale puppies for adoption uh, depending on what you're talking about that would probably you could probably implement that to your copy German Shepherd dog of course we want that German Shepherd puppies for sale of course we want that more than likely if you're talking about dogs it's gonna be something about training your dog I would assume but that's just me let's see here 
German Shepherd Golden Retriever how to train your dog there's another good one alright so now what I want to do let's see pups for sale 8,000 search results let's see I think we're about done here dog behavior it's 5,000 searches for that you can go German Shepherds uh, because our original search term was singular so that's about it for now so now I'm gonna gather all of these phrases and I'm just gonna create tags and then I'm just going to post this into a notepad and there are all of our keywords related keywords to our topic so basically that's what you would do all I'm doing is separate these so I could read them properly and from here I would take another step and start writing my content so we could go let's see let's see the title let's see if the title of our post or article let's say we want to talk about German Shepherd puppies for sale so all I'm doing is copying that and then here I'm gonna make this my title okay so this will be the title of my article it has that keyword in it strong keyword not sure how many searches was for it and then you can start creating tags and what we can do is just gonna take all those copy it put it there and then just kinda straighten this out a little bit so that it's readable because at some point we're just gonna copy and paste this into wherever either it be an article or a YouTube video you can give a video on or a little promotion about selling puppies uh, German Shepherd puppies and then the rest of this course would uh, go into your content so we set this up content equals and then we start writing our comp content there seems to be a lot there seems to be a shortage of German Shepherd oops puppies for sale period now this is good because look at what we have here German Shepherd puppies for sale we have this keyword right in our front sentence so that means that we're going to be targeting if this was a real article we would be targeting this key phrase right here uh, this keyword German Shepherd puppies for sale and then you would continue your content there seems to be a shortage the dogs for sale that you are looking for online are all packed into this informational ebook okay period this is a really informational ebook and I'm just making this up off the fly informational book with tons of information including two full pages of two full pages pictures of dogs and what their behavior is like okay and I'm gonna just stop right there you guys get the point I've just covered three keywords in my copy the dogs for sale that you're looking for 
right here dogs for sale got that keyword BAM right there right off the cuff that you're looking for all packed into this informational ebook uh, maybe I could change that intuitive ebook with tons of information including two full pages with pictures of dogs and they and what their behavior is like of course I would go back and rewrite this article and but you get the point on how it works uh, LSI the best way to remember it is it's when you're doing an LSI search it's going to return related keywords surrounding the subject that you're talking about so I hope you guys got something out of this video and if you are not hooked up and not seeing the webinars or signed up for our webinars I will leave a link here at the bottom of this video in the description area where you can sign up for the webinars where we go over all different types of tricks and tips and latest software that will help you as an online marketer to catapult your business to the next level so that's pretty much what I have for now and if you're not using micro niche finder it would basically behoove you to purchase your copy today and start managing your business and getting those key rich keywords and titles and tags and headlines that you need because with micro niche finder the possibilities are pretty much unlimited to the amount of depth keyword research that you can perform so this is Wayne Hatter guys I'm signing off and make sure you sign up for the webinar we have one going on tonight today is Wednesday November 2nd so talk to you guys soon bye bye for now